Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, Sintarmian Learners. Airing live from the Manu Blue Capital of the Philippines and Kalo City. You're tuning into CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home for every SEO SEC learner. Where passion is the key, learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SEO SEC learner. Hello students, welcome in this exciting academic year. Learning in this new normal can be a life-changing experience. Yet, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, I sense your strong determination to study and learn more. That is why I am here to help and guide you through your online education. We must continue to study and embrace the possibilities that this pandemic may bring. <clears throat> I'm Teacher Lucita, your mentor in today's video lesson. I can sense your excitement, so please pay attention as we begin our lesson. You'll face challenges and have a lot of fun, but don't worry, I'll be here to assist and guide you. Our lesson for today is based on learning competencies, learning objective one, perform maison plus. Specific, object, specific objectives, after going through this module, learners are expected to, number one, identify the different sandwiches. Number two, classify each sandwich as to hot or cold sandwiches. Number three, Recognize the importance of sandwich in the meal. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have simple recall on our previous lesson. Let's have a picture analysis. Focus your attention on the display picture or pictures. Figure out the particular ingredients and their classification. Write your answer in the comment section below. I'm giving you five seconds to answer. Let's have the first picture. Again, five seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Time is up. The answer is ham. That is classified as meat. Excellent. You got it right. How about the picture number two? Another five seconds to figure it out. Timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is cheddar, a type of cheese. You got it right. Let's see if you can guess the last picture. Your time starts now. Time's up. You are right. The answer is vegetables. So those are the different ingredients in making sandwiches. And for you to have more fun, let's play more games. I know you are familiar with this. So in this activity, you are going to identify what is in the picture. So you have to focus your attention on the display of two pictures link by one word the players aim to work out what word is by connecting the name of two pictures to get the correct answer you have five seconds to figure out the word type your answer on the comment box let's have the first picture what's the answer learners If your answer is open faced, then you got it right. Good job. How about this picture? What's your guess? Your answer is correct. 
its field role. Let's have another picture again. Type your answer in the comment box. Yes, you got it right. It's pinwheel. Next picture. Learners, do your best to figure it out. The answer is deep fried. Correct. In the last picture, what can you figure out? That's exactly right. It's sandwich. Fantastic learners. You really did it well. With those features and words for Unity, how did you come up with your answer? Do you have any idea of our lesson for today? You got it right. Our lesson for today is quarter three, lesson three, which is about the classification of sandwiches. Sandwiches are one of the most popular food today. Do you have any idea how sandwich exists? Okay, so let's have a link from the past, the history of sandwich. The sandwich is named after Sir John Montago of England, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. To satisfy his appetite, his servant brought him bread and meat. Sir John combined the two so he could eat with one hand. This combination became known as the sandwich. One of the America's most popular sandwiches is hamburger. It was originally called a hamburger steak. After its city of origin, Hamburg's Germany, the German immigrants introduced the hamburger to the United States. The Earl of Sandwich's idea of not letting a meal interrupt other activities became a popular concept in the 20th century. People wanted food in a hurry that could be eaten on the run. <clears throat> in 1954, Ray Kroc founded the McDonald franchise based on the concept of fast service at a low price. Fast food sandwiches as we know today were born. Let's check your prior knowledge on our new lesson by answering the questions. For the direction, choose the letter that describes your answer. You have five seconds to answer each question. You are challenged to write your answer on the comment section below. Question number one. This sandwich is used one kind of bread with a filling on top. Is it letter A, open face sandwich? Letter B, pinwheel sandwich? Letter C, cold sandwich? Or letter D, wrap sandwich? Your five seconds Start now. Time's up. It's letter A, open face sandwich. You got it right. Question number two. It is a plain sandwich. It is a plain sandwich made up of two slices of bread, preferably a day old bread, toasted if desired, and on which butter can be readily spread. Is it letter A, multi-decker sandwich? Letter B, regular cold sandwich? C, tea sandwich? Or letter D, wrap sandwich? Your five seconds start now. Time's up. The answer is letter B, a typical cold sandwich. You are correct. Or question number three. It is a simple hot sandwich consists of hot fillings. It, is it letter A, deep fried sandwich, B, field roll sandwich, C, regular hot sandwich, or letter D, rolled sandwich? Your five seconds to start now. Time's up. The answer is 
regular hot sandwich. Wow, very good. You got it right. Question number four. These are simple sandwiches that are buttered on the outside and browned on the griddle. These are also called toasted sandwiches. Is it letter A, deep fried sandwiches? Letter B, filled roll sandwiches? C, grilled sandwiches? Or letter D, rolled sandwiches? In five seconds, comment your answer. Time's up. Well done, learners. It's letter C, grilled sandwiches. Question number five. This is made by dipping sandwich in a beaten egg and sometimes in breadcrumbs and then deep fried. Is it letter A, deep fried sandwich, B, multi-decker sandwich, C, tea sandwich, or letter D, wrap sandwich? The time starts now. Time's up. The answer is letter A, deep fried sandwich. You got it right. Who among you loves to eat sandwiches? Going to Jollibee or McDonald's and eat such meals. Be attentive so that you will learn more about sandwiches and you have chance to prepare your own sandwich at home. For today's lesson, I am going to discuss the classifications and the different types of sandwiches. But first, let's have defined sandwich. Sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat, placed on or between slices of bread. The sandwich is started as a portable finger food in the Western world. There are two classifications of sandwiches. We have cold sandwich and hot sandwich. Cold sandwich is a plain sandwich made up of bread, preferably a day-old bread, toasted if desired, and on which butter can be readily spread. While hot sandwich consists of hot fillings, usually meat, but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables or other hot items between two slices of bread. Here are the different types of cold sandwiches. Number one, open face sandwich. Open sandwiches make use of one kind of bread with filling on top. The slices of white bread can be cut into squares, triangles, or rounds. Butter is spread slightly on top and pieces of cheese or meat fillings are arranged and garnished attractively like that. Make or use of biscuits, cookies, or toast instead of using bread. Second is the regular cold sandwiches. A plain sandwich is made up of two slices of bread, preferably day-old bread, toasted if desired, and on which butter can be readily spread. Its crust may or may not be removed depending upon your preference. Butter, mayonnaise, or prepared sandwiches spread may be used as a lining to prevent bread from absorbing moisture from the filling. Moreover, it ensures that the bread and the filling will stick together. Number three, pinwheel sandwiches are made of bread cut lengthwise about 3 8 inch thick. Fresh cream bread is preferable because they are easy to rule and will not crack. Trim crust and flatten long slices with ruling pin. Spread bread with a softened butter or margarine and your choice of any smooth fillings like cream cheese, marmalades, cheese pimiento, peanut butter, jams, and jellies. Smooth fillings are ideal for pinwheel sandwiches because they do not have bulk and can spread thinly. Roll up bread like a jelly roll. Next is multi-decker sandwiches are made with more than two slices of bread with several ingredients in the filling. The clubhouse sandwich is a popular multi-decker sandwich 
made of three slices of bread and filled with sliced chicken, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and bacon and cut into four triangles. Number five, tea sandwiches. These are small fancy sandwiches made from light, delicate ingredients and bread that has been trimmed of crust and may be made ahead of time and frozen. They are often cut into fancy shapes, squares, rectangles, and oblong add to the variety. Fillings and spreads can be the same as those for canapé. The last type of cold sandwich is wrap or rolled sandwich. These are sandwiches in which the fillings are wrapped, like a Mexican burritos in a large flour tortilla of similar flat bread. They may be served whole or cut in half if large. <clears throat> Next is hot sandwiches. Here are the different types of hot sandwiches. Number one, regular hot sandwich or sandwiches. Simple hot sandwiches consist of hot fillings, usually meats but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables or other hot items between two slices of bread. They may also con contain items that are not hot, such as a slice of tomato or raw onion on a hamburger. Next is hot open face sandwiches. These are made by placing buttered or unbuttered bread on a serving plate, covering it with hot meat or other filling and topping with a sauce, gravy, cheese, or other topping. This type of sandwich is eaten with a knife and fork. Third is grilled sandwiches. These are also called as, as toasted sandwiches, are simple sandwiches that are buttered on the outside and browned on the griddle in a hot oven or in a panini grill. Sandwiches containing cheese are popular for grilling. Number four, deep fried sandwiches. These are made by dipping sandwiches in the beaten egg and sometimes in bread crumbs and then deep fry. The last kind of sandwich is field rolls, pukacha, or pita bread. These are flavored breads served with dips like quesadillas and burritos. These are filled primarily with cheese and sometimes meats and spices and then cook. Those are the different cold and hot sandwiches. I hope you learned something, but for time being, let us do another activity to help you solidify your understanding and skills on the subject that we have been discussing. We have independent activity one. Here are the directions. It's identification. Give the correct answer to the following statement. Write your answer in the comment section below. Number one, this is a type of sandwich similar to canapé, a type of friends ordered. If your answer is open face, you are correct. Question number two, those plain sandwiches having a two slices of bread spread and filled with a cold filling. The answer is, you got it right. It's cold sandwich. Number three, <coughs> this is made of flat bread or bread cut into lengthwise about three eighths inch thick. If your answer is a pinwheel, you are correct. Question number four. This is also referred to us as a finger sandwich. They are small fancy sandwiches made from light and delicate ingredients with bread that has been trimmed of crust. What is your answer? You got it right. It's tea sandwich. For the last 
Question. These are composed of more than two slices of bread and with several ingredients in the filling. Learners, comment your answer on the comment section below. What is your answer? The correct answer is multi-decker. You did it well. Congratulations, learners. For independent activity two, group the following sandwiches. Pinwheel, field rolls, grilled, regular hot, focaccia, deep fried, wrap, tea sandwich, regular cold, multi-decker. What do you think? Where do these sandwiches belong? Do they belong to hot or cold? I'm giving you 60 seconds to answer this activity. Your time begins now. Time is up. It's now time to reveal the answer. Sandwiches classified as hot are regular hot, deep fried, focaccia, field rolls, and grilled. On the other hand, pinwheel, tea sandwich, regular cold, wrap, and multi-decker are classified as cold sandwiches. If your answers are classified accordingly, you are correct. For our reflection, let's answer this question. Why is sandwich preparation important in a meal? Sandwiches are vital meals because they offer us with a portable meal that helps us get through the day. Eating a sandwich every day can fit into a healthy, well-rounded diet and to do so it's important to include a variety of ingredients maintaining a nutritious diet is significant in terms of strengthening our immune system for us to combat covid 19 and other diseases during this period of pandemic thus let us all work together to keep our health in good shape Sandwich making can help to instill values like independence, exercise fine motor skills, and boost self-esteem. It also teaches us to appreciate simple things in life. Remember, true happiness can be found in the smallest of things. And for our generalization, you are challenged to complete this statement by writing your answer in the comment section below here's the statement in this lesson i learned about sandwiches sandwiches is blank there are two classification of sandwiches the hot and the cold sandwich cold sandwich is blank the different types of cold sandwiches are the following hot sandwiches are defined as blank the following types of hot sandwiches are the following. Have you already input your and have you already input your generalization in the comment section below? Good. Well said. Here is the complete statement on this generalization of our lesson today. In this lesson, I learned about sandwiches. Sandwiches is food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese, and meat placed on 
or between slices of bread. There are two classifications of sandwiches, the hot and the cold sandwich. Cold sandwich is a plain sandwich made up of bread, preferably a day-old bread. The different types of cold sandwiches are the following. open face sandwich, regular cold sandwich, pinwheel, multi-decker, and drop or rolled sandwiches. Hot sandwiches are defined as sandwiches which consist of hot fillings, usually meats but sometimes fish, grilled vegetables, or other hot items placed between two slices of bread. The different types of hot sandwiches are as follows. Regular hot, deep fried, field rolls, grilled sandwich, and pukacha or burritos. And to evaluate your level of mastery for today's topic, you are challenged to answer each question for three minutes. Write your answer in the comment section below. Here, here are the direction. So you are going to write the uh, answer in the comment section below. Question number one, how do you call simple hot sandwiches with hot filling? Is it letter A, deep fried sandwich, B, field roll sandwich, C, regular hot sandwich, or letter D, rolled sandwich? Time starts now. Time's up. It's letter C. Regular hot sandwich. You are correct. Question number two. These sandwiches are made by dipping sandwiches in beaten egg and sometimes in bread crumbs and then deep fried. How do you call these sandwiches? Is it letter A, deep fried sandwiches? Letter B, multi-decker sandwiches? C, tea sandwiches? Or letter D, wrap sandwiches. Your three seconds start now. Time's up. Time to reveal the answer. It's letter A, deep fried sandwiches. Very good learners. Question number three. These are simple sandwiches that are buttered on the outside and browned on the griddle. They are also called toasted sandwiches. Is it letter A, deep fried sandwich? Letter B, field roll sandwiches? C, grilled sandwiches? Or letter D, rolled sandwiches? Your time starts now. Time's up. What's the answer, learners? It's letter C, grilled sandwiches. Very good. Question number four. This type of sandwich use one kind of bread with a filling on top. Is it letter A, open face sandwich? B, pinwheel sandwich? C, regular cold sandwich? Or letter D, wrap sandwich? Time starts now. Time's up. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is letter A. Open face sandwich. You are correct. Excellent learners. Question number five. This is made of plain sandwich made up of two slices of bread, preferably a day old bread, sometimes toasted, and on which butter can be readily spread. Is it letter A. Multi decker sandwich? Letter B. Regular cold sandwich? Letter C. Tea sandwich or Letter D, wrap sandwich. Your three seconds start now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B, regular cold sandwich. Congratulations, trainers. Now for your assignment, answer activity on page 10 of your SLM. Here is the direction for doing the task. Look for five sandwich recipes aside from those sandwich recipes you have learned. It could be in a magazine, cookbook, or in the internet. 
and identify what type of sandwich are these recipes. You may also ask somebody at home who has the idea about the task. Compile your recipes and make a scrapbook. For your reference, use the LE 9 SLM Quarter 3 Module 3 Types of Sandwiches on page 10. That concludes our lessons for today. As a result, I hope you learned something new and thank you for embracing the challenge. Congratulations and a job well done, learners. I'm Maria Lucita Cesariano, your teacher broadcaster from Tandok National High School, live on the, Car on the Carlos and Carlene Network. Thank you. Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, Sakarinian learners. Airing live from the Mango, the blue capital of the Philippines and Carlos City. You're tuning into CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SEO SEC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of 